Yeah, there you go. So yeah, uh, again, I don't have my GoPro. I keep forgetting to buy a mount, but uh, updates so far, um, you know, like I said, I got the two MCIs. Uh, I think a lot of people know that already. Uh, there is no more flexibles on the channel. Uh, I'm in the near future, you know, uh, have my fun with them. And, uh, you know, it's definitely time to move on. Uh, you know, my priority is uh, the MCIs, you know. So, uh, I'm one person, you know, uh, it's just me. So, uh, I'm dealing with um, this bus, Mr. General. Of course, like I said, this is a restoration project, this bus. This is a, uh, a true restoration. So, I'm taking my time with him, you know. I, 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 I've learned, I've, I've taught myself that it is not a race. And uh, you want it to look good. You want them to continue to run good. Um, that's that's my thing. Uh, some you know some setbacks like uh, we're waiting on a few. Not we. I I'm waiting on a fuel tank uh, for this bus. Uh, it's not gushing. It's not gushing on the ground or fuel, but you know it. It needs to be replaced. That's the main thing uh, with it. Um, so we got to do that. Uh, I got to change the manifold on the. Uh, street side it's got a little crack in it but if you notice like you know it doesn't it doesn't do the ticking so that's good but i want to uh you know address that before the crack gets worse um what else uh, i gotta do that uh there's like two bolts for one of the radiator brackets i guess age or they might have already been like that they were like the bolts were hanging there but there's no nut to hold on the bracket so if you want it you could just move the radiator back and forth now thank goodness you know radiator hasn't you know gone anywhere but you know still you don't want it to be a problem so i'm gonna go get that i mean what is that a five if that a five dollar fix so the there's that um everything else with this bus is pretty much preventative outside of the fuel tank the manifold uh we need a brake job uh, but the brakes are the brakes are good on this bus. They're really good. Uh, I just want to get them adjusted, um, get the hubs checked out. Uh, probably just get all new hubs. I uh, really need just get all new hubs. Um, like I said, that's preventative stuff. Uh, tune up. I would love to do a tune up on this bus because I'm sure it hasn't had one. I mean, it runs like a bat out of hell, even without a tune up. Uh, oh, air dryer. I want to get that service. Like I said, it's working good. Uh, I fixed the major air leaks on this bus. Um, uh, you know, so I want to do a, a, a dryer service just to make sure that, you know, it continues. Again, the dryer will keep purging until it don't purge anymore. And then you need to change it. So, which that sucks. So, uh, yeah, I want to change that because, like I said, you all know when the last time it's been changed. Uh, the door... The thing with the doors, let me see, I'll try and see if I can show you guys. So they open and close, of course, right? But the solenoid with the motor for the door, when you open it, it's got a leak in the door and it's gotten worse now. It's gotten way worse and it will take the air out of your accessory tanks. So when you close the door, they look no more leaks. When you open it, you know, you got a nice leak. And because of that, let me put them back up fast out on. Yeah, because of that, um, you know, you lose air and stuff like that. It, it's very annoying. The door kind of gets a little jammed uh, when it opens up sometimes. So that's that's got to get addressed. So as far as like issues that need to be changed right now, uh, I'm gonna say three things a fuel tank this door motor and the windshield wipers because the motors are seized so uh, You know again junkyard life has been sitting. I've been used for years I got the right one to work one time and then it stopped working. So yeah, the motors they're they're seized. So Yeah, like I said everything else is preventative man, uh, you know tune up tires brakes get them adjusted um like I said, the brakes on this bus are phenomenal. I mean, 
You, you guys have seen, I've had this bus in the city numerous times, man. And if you can deal with stop and go traffic without hitting anybody, God forbid, or anything, your brakes is good. So at least I know the brakes are good on this bus. I've been underneath this bus. It looks really good under there, man. You know, shout out to New Jersey Transit because uh, they do uh, chassis baths, you know, like they power wash you underneath of the bus which you know really uh helps with like the rust and everything so and then this this is a south jersey bus and a market street bus so you know it probably helped a little bit you know uh but yeah that's it man so that's it for the updates on this bus guys like i said um you know i'm working full time it's, it's just me um you know i got a lot of things going on i'm moving and uh you know there's, there's just a lot of a lot of things you know where i haven't been updating as much you know even today i wasn't going to go down here today but i had to you know you gotta again small business um you know you're not going to make any money overnight that's that's the one thing you know I'm, I'm just doing the best i can to make make it so that you know you guys can ride and enjoy the buses and safely enjoy the buses you know i'm very 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 strict on you know appearance and and safety and and having people on the bus you don't want people on the bus and you know they ask you hey when's the last time you changed the brakes or when's the last time you checked the brakes oh i don't know i, I just want to throw a trip and make some money no that don't work with me uh, you know i'm very strict i i want things to be right you know where god forbid even if you had a breakdown at least you did the best you could you know these are our machines you know any machine if a 20 if a 2020 a 2023 a 2024 can break down a 87 and a 08 is no different they are all machines at the end of the day so but you just want to do the best effort that you can so you know you don't have any issues if you can you know that's why it's good to just like i said just try and do as much preventative stuff as you can you know uh uh, like I said, I still work full time on the railroad. Uh, I change departments. I work on the trains now, so I'm a train mechanic, if you will. You know, uh, that's a stressful job. You know, it, it's a lot of responsibility. It's very similar to bus ownership. You know, you're in charge of uh, checking, checking stuff, checking trains, checking couplers, checking brakes, uh, checking the inside, checking the seats, fire thing, all that stuff. You know, you gotta. Before that train goes out, you know, your name is on it. You got to make sure that, um, you know, that it's up to par. And, you know, and I'm the same way with, with this with this bus and Big Boy. You know, I, I want to make sure that it's good, you know. But like I said, I'm only one person. Rent is not cheap, you know. So to balance, you know, like I said, living on your own and and uh, the two buses, you know, it, it, it can be a slow process, you know. But um, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to put some things in motion so that way, it's, uh, you know, it's a little easier. Can speed stuff up a little bit. Um, uh, like I said, I, I don't really plan on doing any. Uh, with this bus, I would like to do like maybe like some vintage, you know, charters and uh, excursions. You know, that th th this is my baby. You know, Mr. General. So uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not really. You know, I'm, I'm pretty protective. You know, I, I don't really. I don't need to pack this bus out with people. It's not why I bought it. I'm not trying to generate $100,000 with it. Again, that's not why I bought it, you know, but um, yeah, if, if uh, it'd be nice if I could put a, you know, put a nice paint job on it. I know some people bash me again. They always, they're, they're gonna be worried when people are not talking about you, but you know, I noticed some people, you know, uh, uh, some people they're like, oh yeah, it's a rattle can paint job, so what? You know how much money I saved and how how good the bus looks with a rattle can. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather it run good. Some people they talk a lot, but their stuff ain't running. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, there you go. That's all I care about. He's running. He's running good. The the appearance and all that that comes second. So yeah, I just want to do an update, guys. It's already nine minutes. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update on like what's been going on and uh, everything. So, like I said, Mr. General is good. Um, like I said, we're waiting on the fuel tank. I'm I'm waiting on the fuel tank. So as soon as as soon as we get that fuel tank, 
Uh, they're waiting on weather to, you know, the weather to get better because it's been like crappy weather. So uh, we're getting into like 60 degree days. So uh, we, we should be getting that fuel tank soon. And then um, we'll be able to put that in. And then from there, you know, we could work on the climate and all other stuff. Like I said, the blowers, you can hear blowers and everything work. You know, the AC and the heat and all of that, you know, that, that shouldn't be too much of a, of a battle. Uh, you know, like I said, the only, I don't turn the blowers on because you're getting the vapors from the tank. So we don't want that. So, uh, but yeah, all right guys. So I just want to give an update and uh, I will definitely keep in touch. I will definitely, uh, put, you know, post up, uh, you know, try and post as often as I can. You know, with, you know I just got a lot of things going on. Uh, you know, very busy, man. I'm going to be an uncle soon. So, yeah. Yeah. Life. Life, guys. Life. But, uh, like I said, buses ain't going nowhere. Especially this bus, Mr. General. You know, I I will uh, I will pass on with this bus. I, I plan to keep it for as long as I can. You know, and God forbid if I ain't here no more. You know, yeah. You going like like rest in rest his soul, uh, Mike Sabia. You know his nine was at his funeral. Uh, this nine is gonna be at my funeral. God forbid. You know well, we we don't want that now. But you know, like I said, I would I would like this bus. You know, you, you know you get married. You know this could be like you know the little marriage bus or whatever. Like I said, th th this is my uh, this is my Mustang. This is my uh, uh, toy. You know. Um, but big boy, I'm gonna do uh, as, as best I can with that, you know. Um, like I said, it all depends how how things go in life, you know. Uh, if I feel like I, I gotta let them go because it's like, hey, you know, the balance in the two buses right now is is a bit of a challenge. I'm not gonna let it sit around until I, you know, figure that out. You know, I I just set them down the road, or I'll just. Like I said, just prioritize and, and, and hold on. You know, it doesn't, like I said, it's not a race, not a race for me. You know, uh, the both buses, they pretty much need the same thing. Well, except for the fuel tank and all that stuff. Uh, big boy, uh, that bus needs a brake job. It's got a couple oil leaks. Uh, I took the filler tube out today. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put it in this video. It might be an earlier video, but um, uh, yeah, I took out the filler tube. And I finally took out the safety valve on the air compressor. So no more bzzz, you know? And if it does do it, then you know there's some type of blockage or whatever. But like I said, we checked the discharge line and all of that, no lines are hot. When I got the bus, it wasn't doing that. So that tells me that the safety valve is just old. And when I took it off, it was all gummed up with uh, oil and stuff. So it's been in there a while. So, I, you know, that's the thing. I got the wrong valve. You know, like I said, I didn't think that bus would be metric, but it's metric, which is very... That bus has a lot of metric stuff on it, which is very interesting. I guess that was a crossover with Daimler. So, uh, yeah. So, like I said, uh, I plan... You know, I'm keeping these buses for as long as I can. You know, big boy, I'm going a completely different direction with that bus. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that for right now. So, yeah, all right. I'll see you guys later, and uh, I will be posting as much as I can, and uh, I really thank you guys for all the, the support and everything, man, with the new followers and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't have 2,000 videos, I mean, well, 2,000 or, or 10,000 views on each video and whatnot, you know, I'm not YouTube famous, but I do uh, appreciate uh, all, all the supporters and the people that watch and stuff like that, you know. Like I said, I'm going to post the stuff that... You know, a lot of, like, bus owners ain't going to show you because, you know, like I said, they're so worried about appearance. My thing is, things break. You learn from it. You get down there and get dirty, you know, that's it. You can cry all you want for somebody to come fix it, but unless you got money out the Kawazu, which I don't, uh, some things, you got to fix it. Or you at least make an attempt, you know, so that's what I want to you know. Any little knowledge I get, man, I just want to pass it on to you guys, you know. Like I said, I've had this bus now three years, man. You know, me and this bus, we, we've been through a lot of stuff, man. And you never left me on the side of the road, so. I mean, aside from when I got it, but that was a whole, 
I didn't even have to break down when I got this bus. You know, I ran out of fuel. My fuel jug went missing. It, it was just a whole debacle with this bus, man. And, you know, but it wasn't the bus's fault. You know why I broke down when I got it. But um, you know, we did that. We fixed the fuel prime, and it's been going ever since, man. In three years, so yeah. So all right, guys. You know. Uh, Keep on keeping on. This this is uh 2024. This is the projects. This is what's going on so far. And uh yeah, I'll probably make another one of these videos. Probably do it in Big Boy or something. So alright guys, later.